Prime is kind of inspired by the anime Jujutsu Kaisen and even a cat can make this flaming blunder if you follow me step by step. Starting first, we'll take a cube, subdivide it 5 times, then to make it round like a fat cat, select all the vertices and press Alt Shift S and then press 1, which will give you a perfect sphere. Let's head over to the textures and start with animating. It's really easy guys, trust me, it's as easy as subscribing to my channel. Creating a new texture, then delete it. I'm kidding, just delete the principal BSDF and add a emission and transparent BSDF and plug them into the mix shader and connect it to the surface. Add Warnai texture and connect to factor. Selecting Warnai, press Ctrl T. Now let's shift to the render view, but we can see shit now, not even Literally, the shit. We have to enable alpha blend and hashed mode. So we have to head over to the materials in the settings and change the blend mode to alpha blend. And to refine our result, we will have to add a color ramp and adjust it according to you. To animate it, we will add a combine XYZ and connect to location. For the Z, set hash frame divided by 24. If it goes down, change it to minus 24 because the flames go up. Now add an empty to your scene and scale down the sphere to just about the size of that empty. Let's give our flame a color because it looks colorless just like your life. And connect the color ramp, pick your color as per your liking, adjust the color ramp and set the strength of emission to 10. So it shine bright. I'm bad. To make it more visible, let's enable the bloom and there we go. I know guys, you are thinking this ain't a fire, but just wait my friend. Now, selecting the top vertices of our object, let's move it up using the proportional editing tool to get this kind of result. You can change the setting of the proportional tool as well to get your desired result. Now, let's twist this flame just like you twist your duck. Add simple deform modify on it and set it to twist. Angle will be 360 degree and axis of course Z. And now if you play, you will see this kind of result. One more thing you can do is in the materials, you can just check show back face and you can see this kind of result to make it even look more better we are going to add a funnel and connect it to the color ram and set the ior to 0.96 now i want that the black part at the edge of our flame so i will take one and make it black and as you can see we have those black edges right there now let's make our flame dance with the current empty in our scene what we are gonna do is displace our flame for that apply a displace modifier on our flame and make sure it is before our simple deform change the coordinates to object and select our empty as the object set the strength to 0.4 and mid level to 1 now click on the new and click this button which will take you to the textures right here you can see the texture has appeared also you can click here to go to the texture directly and here change it to clouds for the size set it to 0.75 as of now nothing is happening selecting the empty press n and it will bring this section and click on item and here in the location in the z change the z by hash frame divided by 24 and now our empty will start to animate on the z direction which is upward and also our flame will start dancing if you apply the scale on it you will see more better result with the modifiers you can reduce the strength as well if it's too strong let's make our empty go even faster let's divide it by just 12 it will dance more faster also you can adjust the cloud value size and other settings as per your liking also to make it look even better you can go and apply a subdivision subsurface modifier after applying this it will give you more smoother and better result we can make the texture even better and make it look like this but that's a secret and if you want you can buy my plan file by paying me money i'm just kidding i will just show you a little part of how to make it even better let's just make duplicate of this texture with the color ramp we are going to duplicate it and just before we are connecting it to the factor we'll add a mix color node and just drag it in between and now here we can connect the second part which will be this one to the second color and change it to a linear light and also make sure you are connecting this combine xyz to the location of the other mapping as well and we are going to change the scale of this one to 15 so it gives a more complex result like this just play with these settings it will give you a different kind of result so now let's head towards the final scene that i have created i will be explaining everything from a to z 
This is our first scene where the energy is being conjured into a sphere. And also if you want this blend file, it is available completely for free to download on my Comroad page. The link is in the description. So let's talk about this one. This big box right here is actually a volumetrix and it is giving really nice depth to our animation. Let's head towards its shader as you can see it's just principal volume with these settings connected to our material output. Next are these hands which we can talk about because that would require a separate video for these hand animation. Next the sphere and the energy trail. For this started disrupted effect you can see on the sphere, we have to just play with the settings of the displaced modifier which is the strength and the mid levels. So it looks like the start point of energy being generated or being conjured. Also one more thing that I've done is I've added a point light in our scene as you can see without the point light in the EV renderer you can't see any of these hands properly. Next these trails as you can see which are coming and just merging with our spheres. It's just simple I've just taken a cuboid a long cuboid with these same modifier applied to it as well. It has to have a quite a good number of geometry. If you go in edit mode it looks something like this. Now what I have lastly done is and after doing all these things and applying the textures as well you can just apply a curve modify on it and so that it follows if you want to create a multiple trail what you can't do is just duplicate and just rotate that will give very weird result for you. Select the curve and select the object duplicate them right click to restore the position select the curve and press edit mode to modify it and you can get a different result without getting those weird shapes and now it will work. The last thing that I have to tell you is that I have changed the frame per second to 12 I am using a custom FPS to give it more a feel like a cartoon or anime feel. Now let's head toward the scene 2. It's just a simple scene the hands are just crushing the energy ball and the energy ball just disrupts. You can again use the same displace modifier to get this kind of result again. And the last scene is a secret or you can just get my blend file for free on my Comrade page, link in the description. And that was all for this videos my friend. Make sure to sub if you love this tutorial. And see ya in the next one. Peace out.